I'm Seth Jones. I'm the Quality Control Manager here at Hub Draft Services. And today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about our process of cleaning draft beer lines, both with static cleaning pots and with an electronic recirculation pump. There are two types of cleaning methods, static or pot cleaning for lines under 15 feet in length and recirculating pump cleaning for lines greater than 15 feet in length. Some draft systems with split lines over 15 feet are difficult or impossible to clean with a recirculating pump. In these situations, static cleaning must be performed. Ensure that the right process is being done for you. Cleaning draft beer lines is an important process that must be done at least every two weeks in order to maintain the quality and freshness of the beer that you're serving. The reason that we want to clean the beer lines every two weeks is that we get bacteria and yeast buildup in the lines which impart an off flavor to the draft beer, which ultimately will lower sales and reduce the quality of the product that you're serving to your customers. The first step to cleaning draft beer lines is to fill your cleaning pots with the appropriate amount of solution. You want to start with the hottest water possible from the account that you're working in and add six to eight ounces of solution for a five gallon cleaning pot. You want to mix the solution from two to three percent concentration depending on how dirty and how old the lines that you're dealing with are. Once your cans are full, you want to tap your tavern head into the top of the cleaning can on the appropriate valve and start drawing through solution from the beer line. When you pull the faucet to draw the solution through, you want to remove all of the beer from the line and then run the solution through until the beer line is thoroughly clean. Once an appropriate amount of solution has been drawn through, the line needs to sit or rest with solution in the line for at least 20 minutes to ensure a thorough cleaning. While the solution is sitting in the line, you can start to break down the faucet and clean the keg coupler. To clean the faucet, remove it from the wall and remove the lever from the top and the piston from inside the faucet. It's important to remove the nut that holds the marker in place from the lever to thoroughly clean the threads and make sure that the marker is not going to stick when your customer comes to change markers. While you have the lever apart, make sure to check both the friction and the ball washers sitting on top of the lever and ensure that they're both in good condition so that the tension of the lever can be reset properly when you reassemble the faucet. Use a black cleaning brush to thoroughly scrub the inside of the faucet as well as the piston and lever. Make sure that any beer deposits or hardened sugars are completely removed and that there's no buildup inside the faucet. Also pay attention to both breather holes as they can get clogged with beer. Once the faucet has been reassembled, it can be placed back on the wall. Now you're ready to draw a rinse solution back through your lines. Tap the keg coupler into the can containing your rinse solution and rinse the line until all cleaning solution has been removed and the water runs clear. Once the water comes clear from the faucet, make sure to run it for at least 10 to 15 seconds to completely remove any traces of solution left in the line. Once this has been completed, you're ready to clean your keg coupler. Place a keg coupler completely submerged in a bucket of hot water and let it soak for a minimum of five seconds to remove any beer buildup in the working parts of the keg coupler. Then use a brush to completely clean the outside surfaces of the keg coupler and ensure that all working parts are completely clean and removed from dry beer buildup. Once this has been accomplished, then the keg coupler can be returned to the top of the keg. Now your beer line has been cleaned and you're ready to serve fresh, great tasting draft beer to all your customers. It's been a real pleasure showing you how to do this process today and I hope that I've answered any questions you might have had. Thanks for stopping by.